Good morning. Um, this uh, is Peace again. Uh, it's a Wednesday morning today, the 22nd of October. Um, on my way to the restaurant today uh, via the Whole Foods store to pick up some more supplies for our grand opening, which is happening on Tuesday, the 28th. Um, so I just thought. I do a lot of thinking while I'm driving, a lot of waffling on in my brain about stuff. And basically, I wanted to make a video response to Freely Banana Girls' uh, video that was posted the other day on whether is it actually healthy that we have um, morbidly obese and obese role models um, that other people, you know, look up to and emulate. Uh, in our society today and yeah forgive me for not looking at the camera by the way it's actually attached to my view mirror <laughs> not the ideal thing um, but hey um, I don't have to really concentrate on the camera anyway so I can concentrate on looking at sheep and trees and all that pretty stuff oh and the road by the way um, yeah so is it what, what I feel about this, it's really mixed because in a way there's, you know, having lived over 20 years of my 47 years in an, a morbidly obese frame, all my own doing, uh, you know, I'm not, I'm not passing on the blame for that at all, but having lived in that body at 20 stone, 90 
I know what health issues I had and I, I, I cannot see how anybody and this is all about health you know it's not about dishing somebody because they choose to be heavier um, and wear beautiful lingerie and you know are really proud of their size and everything it does go deeper than that you know I don't think anybody can say that if they're overweight that that's really you know what they desire to be that's what they are aiming to be you know um, and be happy with it and healthy you know fat is a sign of ill health and I'm not just talking about like I say I'm not just talking about a couple of stone or so um, you know overweight fear frame I'm, I am talking about these seriously obese people um, it's not healthy and that's the body going for fuck's sake you know stop I, I can't I can't put this shit that you're feeding me and uh, on a, on a physical, emotional and spiritual level anywhere else other than to clothe it on your body in fact I've got to put it somewhere um, to protect you, to stop you dying because if I don't you'll die um, because of this toxic overload of acids um, you know, so this, this video could go on for a long time and I don't want it to but this is what I'm thinking I, I get sad because um, sorry about that I'll come back later so I'm, I'm back after the phone fell off the thing uh, I'm going to try and edit that when I get home later or get time because it's got a busy day today so I was thinking um, yeah saying about you know the body is an amazing uh, ecosystem that does its best to keep us alive um, and just going on to the food side of things if if one chooses to eat uh, a highly acidic diet and lead an acidic lifestyle then we're going to get ill and we're going to continue compounding those health issues so those of us who choose to eat uh, the parts of living, other living beings that are no longer alive obviously um, I'm trying not to use the, the killing or have you bits um, and the excretions of animals and the uh, chicken periods, as it were, and I'm a reform. I'm, I'm, I'm not. I, you know, I used to eat all this. You know, that's why I got the way I was. That's why I got so sick, and why I'm in recovery now. Um, you know, eating, eating those things, drinking excess alcohol, smoking cigarettes, taking drugs, thinking acidic, negative poisonous thoughts about oneself and the world and other people um, you know all these different levels you know it's not just what we put in our mouths although that's got a massive factor to play um, because you can be obese and think all wonderful loving thoughts to yourself but still feed yourself shit uh, food you know that's lacking in life uh, fruits and vegetables and what have you mostly fruits and vegetables really need much else um, you know the, the sickness is going to continue and it's going to continue being a burden upon society you know Brian Clements talks about you know he, do, he does an amazing talk when he's on his tour and um, about the growth of obesity and diabetes and heart disease in America how it started off in one little state and now it's there's no states really in America where disease, um, you know, the three big diseases are not prevalent and uh, epidemic proportions. Well, I'm afraid it's the same in the UK, um, Australia, uh, you know, any, any society, any country that is, uh, has been seduced by the processed food diet and the animal flesh diet and the dairy diet industries, um, they, they, them fuckers know what they're doing. They know 
how to hook us in and make us sick and diseased and addicted. So, you know, it's, uh, it's, it's hard work for, for those of us that are getting hooked in and I'm, I'm glad that I've escaped that now, finally. You know, 46 and a half years into my life, six months ago I escaped that. And uh, it's, it's, a, it's a long, painful process to do so. Um, so, yeah, I, I'm just, that's my thoughts on the matter of, um, of this, this video that uh, Freely put out. So, I do agree that it isn't healthy to have role models that are promoting um, a lifestyle of obesity and celebrating eating junk food, uh, regardless of whether they go to the gym and work out and talk lovingly to themselves and dress their frames in beautiful clothing, you know, that's the surface, um, you know, it's not a healthy thing to do at all and I might get some negative comments about my thoughts on this and that's fine.
it really is and that's another video obviously if anybody wants that I can do one um, well that's it that's that's my thoughts for today this video has gone over time um, and it's, I'm going to have to edit it a little bit because the phone fell off the thing um, and I had to stop it and then I got a call from my uh, colleagues at the restaurant and stuff. So I'm going to go now anyway and uh, try and focus. I didn't get much sleep last night and I'm like, oh shit, I've got another long day today. Um, so thanks for listening anyway and uh, I will uh, have a look at the links that I'll put into this video down below. Um, and please post your comments and thoughts and subscribe if you like to uh, see more from the nourished vegan. Bye guys, have a brilliant day.